Hey, in this video, we're going to discuss some reasons why sheets pill. Now, a lot of textiles pill, and it can be a result of a number of different reasons. One of them is poor quality uh, textiles. Another one is a loose weave. If you, you know, look at sweaters, sweaters are really, really prone to pilling. But, a, you know, a loose weave can aid in the pilling of a, of a fabric or textile. Exposure to high heat or chemicals. They make the fibers brittle and those uh, fibers break. And then they can result in pills. Abrasion, we'll discuss that in a minute. Or it could be a combination of, of all these factors that make your sheets pill. So, the loose fiber. Here's an illustration of a couple of different um, um, you know, fiber lengths. Cotton is graded based on a number of characteristics, uh, you know, color, strength, uh, but fiber diameter and fiber length are uh, one of the factors. And if you take a look at the, the, the very short fibers, okay, those are spun into a yarn. And what happens when they're so short, um, there's not a lot of length and not a lot of you know twisting between the other fibers that holds that fiber in place. So over time, that you know short little fiber can start working its way out. And then you have multiple fibers that are doing the same thing. And then when they're exposed, you know to you know again, uh, you laying on top of them, uh, those fibers uh, can become twisted up and ultimately result in a pill. Here's a, another illustration wherein a uh, very, very low grade of cotton was used to weave these textiles. You can see the inconsistency in the weave. It's not a particularly tight weave, uh, but you can see there's some areas where uh, pills are going to start developing. Again, in, you know, again, inconsistent fiber diameter, very short uh, cotton fibers, and loose, uh, loose weave uh, is going to result in pilling at some point with these sheets. So what you're going to want to look for when you're purchasing your sheets is long or extra long staple cotton. Now, these finer grades of cotton, unfortunately, do cost a little bit more, but you're going to get more life out of your bed sheets. Properly taken care of, you can get uh, uh, as much as 10 years worth of use out of a good set of sheets. And we have prepared a more in-depth video on how to properly take care of your sheets, and that can be found in the link below. But when you are caring for your sheets, again, you're going to want to use a mild detergent. You can use a draft, an ivory. We sell this LeBlanc linen wash, which is specifically formulated for uh, for cotton fabrics. There's no caustic chemicals in it. Uh, and, and again, it's just a, a real nice uh, detergent. The Tides, the OxyCleans, and you know the Cheers, they all contain brighteners. Brighteners are bleach derivatives. They, again can make the fibers brittle and uh, resulting in breaking and ultimately pilling. High heat will do the same thing. If you're cooking your sheets in the, uh, in the dryer, letting them set in the dryer after they're, you know, the dry cycle's done, you're causing damage to the fiber. Abrasion. This is one that most people don't think about. Some men shave their backs. We shave our faces. Many women shave their legs. Now, if you go a couple of days between shaving, you start to build a stubble. And its stubble is a little Brillo, a big Brillo pad, uh, you know, that uh, uh, when you know, you're know you tossing and turning on your sheets, it just abrades against the sheets, and that can cause uh, pilling as well. Hey, I hope uh, uh, this has been somewhat informative. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, simply give us a call, send us an email. We're happy to assist. Thank you.